So the cheetah house in the African savanna houses five cheetahs, but as we said earlier, we actually have 11 of them living here at the zoo. The other six live in a tucked away corner of the zoo in our off exhibit cheetah breeding area, which is about a five minute drive from here. So let's go on a trip behind the scenes. The separation of the breeding center from the savanna is critical because cheetahs are naturally solitary. So females don't naturally live near males for extended periods of time. So our breeding females typically live in the savanna while the males live down here. So here we are in our cheetah breeding area which has several large paddocks for the cheetahs as well as indoor dens so that they have the option to come out or go inside to warm up in these cooler months. With me right now is Dougie, who's one of the three male cubs that was born here at the zoo in April 2017. We've had a lot of success breeding cheetahs here at the zoo with over 50 cubs born here. And part of the reason why we're so successful is because we have this off exhibit breeding space for them. The other benefit that the breeding center has is that it allows us to double our capacity for housing cheetahs. As a species, they tend to be very, very picky in terms of mates. Being able to house multiple males and multiple females gives us many more options in terms of breeding. So that means that even if the first pairing, the match doesn't actually have any fireworks, we have some backups so that we're able to breed those cats. We're so happy to be able to share it with you today on International Cheetah Day. Thanks for joining us.